Hello world, welcome to the 97th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In uh, video 78, or the first video in our NAS and Python playlist, uh, we installed and set up our Synology DS218 Plus network attached storage. And then, um, so in this video, I'm going to map the network drive to it, uh, on my computer and then we're going to use Python to automate saving files to the NAS. So this will be incredibly important when we have multiple instances of Shane operating in my car, in my home, and on all my computers and on my Raspberry Pis. They're all going to be accessing and storing files in one central location. And so um, my plan is on video 100, and we're on video 97 now. Uh, I'm going to kind of lay out my plan for everything and how I intend to create my own Jarvis, if you will. How in the world am I going to possibly do all the things that you see in the movies and comics? Now, I'll be light years away. I'm just a self-taught programmer, but this is fun for me, and this is my passion. So first, we're going to map the uh, network drive by going to uh, this PC. All right, so right now, uh, we don't have it connected. So you just go to Map Network Drive. I'm going to uh, label it S for Shane. You can pick whatever you want. And then you're going to whatever you named your... Um, server so in the last video we called it shane brain then click this browse here and there you go and then pick any uh folder so let's just click that one and click ok and then make sure you put reconnect that sign in and then uh, let's do finish and um, you should be asked for your credentials. So I've already done this today, testing it. And so it should ask for your username and password. And my um, drive is network now. So there is the S drive to uh, directly to file backup. And, uh, you know, I can access it from here now. So pretty easy. Um, you just need to know what you called your DS218 in there. If you don't know, uh, if you don't remember, click on desktop and you should be able to see what you called your other device if it's connected to your network. So then we have this super simple uh, code that I have here which uh, all it does is save, uh, I like to play Minecraft, and so I have a world I've been playing in for so long, and so I like to do backups of it just in case it gets corrupted, and so um, we're going to go through a quick code on how to save the files. So from this dist utils dot dir underscore util, we're going to import copy underscore tree okay then I created a simple function called minecraft saved and then you just do two variables and you have to copy where it's coming from and where it's going to so the from directory is right here this is the where minecraft saves the world files this is where I used to save it before I had my own NAS and then you just do the to directory so we named it S drive. Now that we're mapped to it, we don't have to actually just use the file backup folder. We can save it anywhere. So we're going to save it in the root S drive. Then you use this copy underscore tree and we imported it here and you just pass the directory or to directory. Now you can get rid of all these variables and just pass it the strings directly, but that's not good practice just in case you want to use this somewhere else. And then I'm going to do a simple print statement that says your files have been saved. And then we're going to call this function. So uh, we're, I'm going to run this, but I'm going to cut because it takes a while because it's uh, using my IDE 
to talk to my computer, to talk to the NAS, save quite a large file. I've been playing this Minecraft world for a long time. And uh, so I will cut when we get there. Here we go. All right, so we're back and it has been a terribly long time and it has not saved the file yet completely, but that has more to do with the internet in my house. Uh, we switched from Verizon Fios in Virginia, which was the best, second only to the internet that I had in South Korea. And uh, now we're back in Louisiana and we have AT&T fiber and it's just awful. Something's wrong with the Wi-Fi in our house. But we can still check the progress to see that this worked. So if we go back to uh, this PC and looked at our share drive, you can see that a good portion of the files have already been saved um, to that folder. So it does work. But we're going to stop it here and pretend that it told me that uh, my files have saved. But if it was a smaller file, like just a simple text file, that would have uh, already been saved over and we could have seen the success. So as you can tell, it's quite a large file that we tried to save, but um, I just want to show you how you can use Python to access your NAS. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. So once we get to video 100, uh, you're going to kind of see the architecture that I plan to build Shane with and all the different playlists that are going to evolve from there. Uh, please like this video and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye world.